Hi everyone, Annette Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we're going to make a steampunk tunnel book. Um, a tunnel book is a book where you have openings in each of the pages that go smaller and smaller. So that gives you a really cool effect that you can play with um, by creating those windows. So what you need is a few papers measuring 6 by 6 inches and a circle cutting system. The system I'm using doesn't exist anymore, but this is the one that I have. It used to, called, to be called Colazo, but you can find many um, other circle cutting systems in the craft store nowadays, and I'm sure that you probably have one, and if you don't, you can always use calipers and then draw your own circles. You also get to decide how large is the first circle. I like to leave at least quarter of an inch or an inch a gap between the edges of the circle and the edges of the paper. And then once you've cut your larger circles, the other circles get smaller and smaller. I do about quarter of an inch uh, difference between each of the circles. So each circle is smaller by a quarter of an inch than the circle before it. It's also good to use papers from the same collection. So you will have a cohesive book that is pleasing to the eye in, in terms of design. I've used Tim Holtz collection here uh, that goes well with steampunk vibes and embellishments that I'm going to add later. And of course you need to use double-sided cardstock because it's a book and you need both sides of the paper. Now once you finish cutting everything, simply arrange it with whatever you want to be on the front and or on the back and you see how the circles get smaller and smaller here and then the binding mechanism is also very simple you need to cut six by one inch strips of paper again from the same collection so it will all look matching and then each of the strips you score in the center vertically along the length of the strip and you do that so we'll be able to fold them in half. You can fold them in half without scoring them by the way, but this makes it a little bit more accurate and easy to fold later. And you can see that I'm using different types of papers so it will look nice and not too matchy. I want the papers to match but not too much. So once all the strips of paper are folded, you put your glue on the si on one side and then attach the first strip to the paper while the fold faces the right or the outside of the page. And then you apply glue on the other side of your folded strip and attach the next page. And you repeat this process until all the pages are connected together. And of course, make sure that you go by the order of the circles from the larger one, which is the first page, to the smallest one, which is the last page. This will create your tunnel effect with the circles. Also, I want to say that you can create a tunnel book with square openings or hard openings. It doesn't have to be a circle. I like the circles, but that is up to you. The effect will still remain no matter what shape you do to cut the uh, center of your page. So continue with your binding of the pages until you have all the pages binded together and of course make sure that the folded strip of paper that you attach to the pages is aligned with the pages itself so it will look nice and professional 
and of course it won't be crooked or sideways or whatever you need the book to be straight so I'm going on ahead with attaching all my pages and of course you decide how big you want the book to be in terms of number of pages you can keep on going until you have a very very small hole and of course you can do this book with larger pages you can do it with 8 by 8 inches or even 10 by 10 the technique is basically the same when creating this book okay so this is the last page and I have one last strip of paper that I want to attach to the outside and for that I want that strip of paper to be a little bit flexible so other than the one score line that I did in the center I want to do two more score lines on each of the side of that center fold line about 1 16th of an inch apart that will create sort of a flexible spine with those three fold lines so I can attach it to the outside of my book for extra strength and for it to look nice so I'm just applying glue and attaching it on both of to the front and the back so basically our book is ready this is the tunnel book this is how it looks now all you need to do is start adding embellishments now the fun part about adding embellishments to a tunnel book is that they get to stick out of the hole and create that pretty effect so I'm starting with a little bit of stamping especially on the more muted pages that have no pattern or color so I want to add a little bit to them so they won't be too boring so I simply stamp on them and I think I'll go page by page and add more embellishments or stamping as I go along I also used Tim Holtz ephemera images photo images they come in a packet and they come in different sizes and it's really cool he made these images from old photos of people so it's really cool to use them and I also use a little bit of distress ink to ink all the edges of the page the circle and the straight edges on the outside so basically what I'm going to do is pick out some of the people images that I have cut out some embellishments from the same paper collections that I'm using here that go with my steampunk design clocks and other steampunk embellishment items and I use the same papers that I use to make the, pa the pages of this book and of course if you don't want to do your book in a steampunk theme you can do it in whatever theme you want this can be a great book for babies for boyfriend or girlfriend for anniversaries for whatever for a friend you can also combine text in it and write stuff in it you can cut images from photos that you have with the person that you're making the book for so that will be even more personal add private jokes or other quotes that you both like and add ephemera or if you're doing it for a specific trip that you've been on add things from there you get the idea I 
just felt like doing a steampunk thing book here. So I'm adding a little clock that I've cut for one of the pages. And when I attach, especially the photos of the people, I want them to stick a little bit out of the circle so they'll be visible when the book is closed. So that will give me a really cool effect of the tunnel that I did on the pages. So that's the idea basically. I'll put the specific paper collections and the other embellishments that I've used in the supply list in the description if you want to get the exact same thing that I've used. Again, you don't have to. And I also want to say that try to add embellishments that are not too thick because you don't want your tunnel book to be too bulky when you close it. So here I don't use any foam tape for extra dimension or any bulky embellishments because I want the book to close properly. So I'm just using paper embellishments and pieces and things like that. And you can see, oh, there is another paper that I can add some stamping to. And I'm putting just a plain piece of white paper underneath it so it won't go over the other pages that I don't want to. Sometimes I put another photo on the back of the photo that you can see there that it's, it has a white back. Sometimes I just leave it like that. Depends on how you want your book to look in terms of design. I want this dude to sit here and you see, I put him just enough to be on the page, but also when the book is closed, you can see part of it, part of its image sticking out of the circle. A little clocks there. So you just go on and on. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. So you can add whatever embellishments you want for your book. You don't have to do it in a steampunk style like I did it. But I love steampunk, so I love playing around with it. It has a little vintagey look to it with these old photos. And I'm also going to add some metal embellishments later but I first wanted to embellish the entire book with the paper embellishments that I wanted to add and then I'll go back and add little metal embellishments wherever I can as long as they are thin enough like here this looks like the Sun so I want to cut out some clouds Sometimes when you can't find the embellishments that you want, you simply need to make it. So I'm just using a pale color and cutting out clouds. Again, whatever matches your theme. You can punch it if you want. You can use cutouts from a magazine. You can use stickers. You can use whatever embellishments you want. Again, try not to use chipboard or other bulky items it will make your book too bulky to close so on this side I'm going to add some little drops with a black pen I'm also going to add some words some text some quotes to add more interest to my book 
just use a really regular pen, black pen, and some stickers. Dance in the rain, it's going to say Dancing in the Rain. Remember that movie? Was it Singing in the Rain? Can't remember. So I'm using stickers here. You can write it in your handwriting or instead of using letter stickers, use word stickers or cut them out of a paper. The point is to use your stash and whatever you have in your craft materials. It's fun to play around with whatever you have in your stash. Just making a frame around my page with my black pen. And sometimes it's the details that really add to a book like this. So you, you're just going to go with more metal embellishments. And this is sort of a balloon here. Just use your pen to add details or text or quotes or doodling or drawing. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Let your dreams fly. So I'm mixing, the text is a mixture with handwriting and stickers. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. Another metal piece. Life is an adventure. And then it says explore on that metal piece there. This page is busy enough so I'm just going to add something to the left side here a little bit of a metal cog like this looks really pretty and you know when you add text to a mini book or a mini album it doesn't always has to be straight you can go around the circle you can change the direction of the text it makes things even more interesting. Just make your book your own with the, all the details that you add and the personal touch that you add to the book. I'm just adding a few words here on the left side And some of you sometimes ask me why I make these things and I just want to say that part of making these things is simply because the process is fun. The creation process is fun and doesn't always has to be practical or have or have a, a specific goal. Although this could be a really pretty gift for someone if you add your own photos and your own embellishments that speaks to that someone. And I also want to say that if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the little bell icon so it will give you notification whenever I upload a new video. And I hope you'll give this tunnel book a try and make your own because it's really fun. Just adding text around the circle here. So I want to thank you all for joining me and watching this video. Again, if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. And this is the finished book. Looks really cool. I hope you like this video. And I will see you next time.